Reverend Insanity Chapter 196 Rebirth Once More Fang Yuan immediately used the chainsaw golden centipede as well as the blood moon goo trying to break the ice. But the ice layer was way too thick and the coldness was oozing. Every layer of ice he shaved off, two layers would grow. Fang Yuan was trapped in a desperate situation without any way to free himself. At this same time, blood light emerged from under the icy river. There was initially a hint of blood light, but it soon spread, becoming stronger and stronger until a blood-colored aurora enveloped the area. Ha ha ha. With a long laugh, blood light rushed towards the sky as first Gen Guyu broke the ice and escaped. Although he looked miserable, his tone was arrogant. This northern dark ice soul physique, if he reached rank 4, he might be able to kill me. Sadly for him, he is only a rank 3 peak stage. Saying so, he turned his gaze to Fang Yuan within the ice river. Northern dark ice soul physique couldn't kill you, then let me do it. Far in the sky, Lord Sky Crane flew over casually. The iron beak flying crane king he was sitting on had already returned after killing the Blood River Python when they flew away earlier. At this point, in the entire King Mao Mountain, only three people remained. Bai Ning Bing had already turned into the Ice Mountain, his consciousness expended. Fang Yuan was like an insect inside an amber, trapped within the ice. As for the two rank 5 Gu Masters however, after first gen Gu Yu raised his aptitude, his aperture could store much more primeval essence. Lord Sky Crane had already recovered most of his strength after resting. The two's gaze were focused on Fang Yuan. First Gen Gu Yu wanted to kill Fang Yuan to take his blood. Lord Sky Crane wanted to stop First Gen Gu Yu, and he would naturally not restrict himself by protecting Fang Yuan, thus he could only strike first and kill Fang Yuan. With their natures, they would not tolerate a bystander. After all, what if both of them got injured and a third person profited from it? Fang Yuan sighed. Seeing their gazes, he knew he was finished. He had lost the Thunderwang's goo and Thousand Li Earthwolf Spider. Even if he had them, he could not escape from two rank 5 goo masters. He only had rank 3 peak stage cultivation, incomparable with rank 5. In this situation he was like fish meat, easily cut by knives. And these were two extremely sharp knives. He could not beat them in combat and couldn't escape from them either, but Fang Yuan had a final move. That is Spring Autumn Cicada. Fang Yuan's mind went into his aperture. The light walls in his aperture had turned into a rough stone aperture. His snow silver primeval essence was about half left. The stone aperture no longer had recovery abilities, but Fang Yuan's heavenly essence treasure lotus maintained such a scene in his aperture. These were not important, he placed all his concentration on the goo in the middle. His vital goo, the rank 6 spring autumn cicada. Only by using this goo could he travel against the flow of time, creating a new miracle, using an impossible method to change fate itself, even then. Such a method was extremely risky. The river of time is a forbidden area in the Great Tao, mortals are not allowed to traverse in it. Once they enter, it is breaking the rules of heaven and earth, and they would face divine retribution. Secondly, Spring Autumn Cicada had not fully recovered, so it was like a broken boat forcefully traveling in the river of time, he might capsize midway and sink. Lastly, Fang Yuan was only at rank 3 peak stage. Activating the Spring Autumn Cicada now was like a baby using a sword, and he might easily get hurt by the sword. Once I use the Spring Autumn Cicada, I will have to self-detonate. Using all my cultivation and the flesh and blood of my body, as well as all my other goo worms, as a driving force to move the spring autumn cicada forward. Compared to my previous life, even if I self-detonate, this force is too small, and there is a high chance it would kill me directly. But at this point, I have no other ways left, I am forced to use this goo. Fang Yuan was helpless too. Earlier, he would rather use the stone aperture goo than the spring autumn cicada because of the great risk involved. Given 100%, there was less than even 10% chance of succeeding. Many times, when goo masters use high-ranking goo, they would face a strong backlash. 
like Gu Yu King Shu, right now Fang Yuan could only bet on the fact that Spring Autumn Cicada is his vital Gu. Little rascal, hand over your life and contribute your blood to your ancestor. Lad, you are unlucky, you can only blame this despicable ancestor of yours, I will set you free from your misery. First Gen Gu Yu and Lord Sky Crane both attacked at once. Fang Yuan was forced to the cliff's end, he could only jump. Spring Autumn Cicada do it. His eyes glowed with wondrous light as two green and yellow lights burst forth from his body. This aura? How can this be? A rank six Gu. At once, the two rank five Gu masters were shocked, but soon greed emerged on their faces. Kill him and take the rank six Gu. This is at an opportunity from heaven, good lad, hand it over and I may spare your life. Their speed was even faster than before. But at this time, a loud boom occurred. Fang Yuan self-detonated. What? Before his death, he heard the two rank five Gu masters' cries of shock. Legend says the world has one long river known as time. Humans were like fish in the river, and under the currents, the fish could only flow downwards. Sometimes, one or two fish would jump above the surface of the river and see the events below this was predicting the future. Without the river of time, the world would be still, becoming a drawing. Only with this river can change occur, and the world can move, either prospering or withering. The river of time, with roaring currents. Every ripple was a story, an event that occurred in the past. Under the turbulent river water, a tiny goo worm was flowing upstream. It spread its wings, moving with difficulty. With the waves crashing against it, every impact could nearly cause its demise. It carried Fang Yuan's consciousness and memories, while a yellow-green light was protecting its body. It moved up the river shakingly, like a candle blown by the wind. Eventually, it could only move up a little before the yellow-green light dispersed. The spring-autumn cicada had reached its limit, and with a swoosh, it turned into a flash and burrowed into one of the ripples. Fang Yuan's body shook, his eyes having a tint of yellow-green light deep within. This light flashed by quickly, and Fang Yuan shuddered. Consciousness and memories assaulted his brain, merging instantly. He succeeded. He was extremely happy. He had rebirthed once more. After sensing this, he immediately looked around, observing his surroundings. He found that his primeval essence was being expended as his arms and body were coiled by white eyebrows. Seeing once again, oh, so it was this moment. Tai Zhu Leng's backup plan activated already. First Gen Gu Yu was trapped by iron chains, not being able to move. His forehead also had a yellow talisman, the demon suppression iron chain Gu, and the problem nipped in the bud Gu. That Lord Sky Crane also landed on the ground, his body covered in a white barrier. He activated the Ray's eyebrows and exhale Gu, trying to exhaust all of First Gen Gu Yu's primeval essence. Fang Yuan squinted. He was coiled by the white eyebrows, not able to move, thus he could only use up primeval essence and wait for a good chance. Under the effect of the problem nipped in the bud goo, a yellow light flew out of first gen Guyu's body. This yellow light was about fist size, smaller than a person's face. It casually landed on the ground, showing the blood skull goo inside. Blood skull goo. After hundreds of years, I finally see you again. Lord Sky Crane on seeing this was exhilarated and his expression extremely excited. Guyu first head clenched his bloody fangs so hard that it made cracking sounds, but he couldn't even budge, much less struggle. Suddenly, another ball of light was captured by the yellow talisman and fell to the ground, turning into the alternating black and white Teiji light sphere. Two peculiar goo worms were circling and chasing each other within this light sphere. It was the yin-yang rotation Gu. According to Fang Yuan's memories, Lord Sky Crane shouted again, Yin-yang rotation Gu, my good senior brother, I truly have to thank you for finding such a good Gu. Ha ha ha, you actually wanted to turn back to a human, but what a pity your plan was destroyed by me. Fang Yuan looked at first gen Gu Yu. Indeed, he was anxiously moved his legs and snarled, he had completely lost his manners. Wait a bit longer, my opportunity is coming. 
Fang Yuan's eyes shone with brilliance, choosing to wait a bit longer. The third yellow light that was captured fell to the ground. It was a scarlet-colored goo and looked like a translucent water sphere. Fang Yuan's heart jumped, blood curtain skyflower. It was this goo that changed the situation and allowed first-gen Gu Yu to overturn the crisis. Blood Curtain Skyflower was created by First Gen Gu Yu. Fang Yuan didn't know it earlier, but now he was clear of its effects. Indeed, afterwards, First Gen Gu Yu shouted, Quick someone, destroy this Gu Worm. Several Gu Masters immediately moved forward upon hearing this and immediately used their attacks. Swoosh! A soft cry resounded, Blood Curtain Skyflower appeared again, the blood color sphere shield isolating the two areas. Some people were outside, while some were inside. The blood shield broke the white eyebrows completely, and Fang Yuan and the others no longer had to compete with the Lord Sky Crane in primeval essence, thus regaining freedom. Lord Sky Crane was blocked by this goo, hurriedly getting up and snickering continuously. After some conversation, he could not break the blood shield and had to stop asking, What goo is this? Gu Yu laughed smugly, let me teach you, this is my personally fused Gu Blood Curtain Skyflower. Water Curtain Skyflower a rank 4 Gu can block rank 5 Gu attacks. This Gu is at rank 5 and has even more powerful defense. Water Curtain Skyflower prevents even its owner from going in and out. But this Blood Curtain Skyflower can let me leave. Junior brother, don't be impatient, you can attack slowly, use all your strength. Just wait till I recover, I will then come out and cut away your dog head, ahahaha. Lord Sky Crane was furious, attacking again, but failed. After he calmed down, he chose to replenish his primeval essence, waiting for the blood shield to lose effect. The Goo Masters, seeing the blood shield being impenetrable, were overjoyed thinking their lives were saved, quickly flattering first Gen Gu Yu, but only by Ning being snorted. First Gen Gu Yu thus asked for more primeval stones, and everyone quickly contributed what they had. Although First Gen Gu Yu was chained up and could not move, his mouth continued to crush primeval stones as he recovered quickly. Sky Crane Lord seeing this started shouting, You morons, once he recovers his movement, he will kill you all and use your blood to upgrade his aptitude. You are causing your own doom. No one believed him. He he, using such a low-level tactic to sow distrust, we'll laugh till our teeth drops. Quick, this old thief is telling us not to give, so we need to give even more primeval stones. Everything is depending on Lord Ancestor. Chapter 197 Changing Fate Large numbers of primeval stones continued to be absorbed by First Gen Gu Yu as he chewed and crushed them. Binding Bing watched coldly. But Fang Yuan moved, he did not observe, but had a different choice than before. First Gen Ancestor, the situation is dire, I have the heavenly essence treasure lotus to offer. He was filled with sincerity as he walked up quickly, a look of helplessness but determination. Gu Yu laughed heartily, very good, as expected of my descendant. Such filial piety as your ancestor, I am very happy. He had long wanted the Heavenly Essence Treasure Lotus and once sent two bladewing blood bat groups to chase after Fang Yuan, but Fang Yuan escaped quickly and didn't give him the chance. However, right now he had no suspicions. Firstly, he did not fall out with Fang Yuan yet, and earlier he had lied that he was protecting Fang Yuan when he dispatched the bladewing blood bat group. Secondly, Fang Yuan had taken the initiative to grab onto the white eyebrows and help the first gen Gu Yu in the primeval essence expenditure, causing the wavering people to make up their minds. Such a loyal performance, first gen Gu Yu still remembered it vividly. Lastly, under such circumstances, Fang Yuan could only place his hopes on first gen Gu Yu. Only then could he defeat Lord Sky Crane and protect his life. First Gen Gu Yu did not believe that Fang Yuan would ruin his own survival chances and attack him. Thus, when Fang Yuan got closer, First Gen Gu Yu laughed continuously, With the Heavenly Essence Treasure Lotus, my chances of victory is higher by 20%. All of you move away and let him in. Heavenly Essence Treasure Lotus? 
Outside the blood barrier, Lord Sky Crane was stunned and quickly shouted, You mustn't do it. Under everyone's gazes, Fang Yuan got to First Gen Guyu's side. First Gen Ancestor, I have thought it through. It was you who created the village. It was because of you that all of us descendants exist. Back in the day, you made such a great contribution to the village. Today, you even led our clan towards brilliance. The heavenly essence treasure lotus should be used by you, great ancestor. He was full of admiration, his tone excited and nervous. First Gen Guyu nodded continuously, thinking, this lad is good with words. Too bad I still have to kill him later and retrieve his blood. But at this time, Fang Yuan lowered his back, striking. He grabbed First Gen Guyu, using the strength in his waist to turn his body and moved both arms. He opened his mouth and growled, using the strength of two boars, expending all his energy to throw. Swish! First Gen Guyu was thrown out of the blood barrier by him. Dead silence. At this time, it was as if time stopped. The outside winds blew relentlessly. First Gen Guyu was smashed onto the ground, his red hair flying around in the winds as he stared blankly, having unable to react to what had just happened. In front of him, less than ten steps away, was Lord Sky Crane. This old man was still furious and anxious over Fang Yuan contributing the Heavenly Essence Treasure Lotus. He did not expect in the least that in the very next moment such a drastic change would occur. He was stunned too, staring blankly at First Gen Guyu. First Gen Guyu was his mortal enemy, but at this point Lord Sky Crane was stunned, like he was still dreaming, not moving at all. In the blood barrier, everyone stood like a statue, silent and unmoving. Some people opened their mouths so large that a fist could fit in it. Some stared with wide-opened eyes, almost bulging out. Even Bai Ning Bing lost his composure, staring at Fang Yuan in astonishment. Only when half a bamboo building collapsed within the blood barrier did everyone jolt awake all of a sudden. Wah, what, what the fuck, someone swore. Fang Yuan, what dumb shit did you do? Someone pointed at Fang Yuan, his entire body shivering. First Gen Ancestor, someone attempted to pull First Gen Guyu back, but was blocked by the blood curtain Skyflower. Despicable thief, lying to your ancestor, I will tear you to shreds. First Gen Guyu finally reacted, lying on the ground screaming. Ha ha ha, amidst the frightened individuals, someone laughed. It was none other than Bai Ning Bing. He laughed till his tears came out, giving a thumbs up to Fang Yuan. Interesting, interesting, truly spectacular. Fang Yuan, are you crazy? Fang Yuan, you harmed the first gen ancestor, you plot even against the ancestor, are you still human? Wala, Fang Yuan must have been bought over by that white hair old man. You spy, you traitor. The surrounding people pointed at him in rage, but Fang Yuan lightly laughed. I am a rank three peak stage, who dares to kill me? Who can kill me? At this point, within the blood barrier, there were few rank three goo masters. They had little primeval essence left due to the fight earlier, and they even gave up their primeval stones and could not get replenishments. As for the others, they were mortals or rank one or two goo masters. Without the first gen Gu Yu within this blood barrier, Fang Yuan really was unstoppable. Heha. <laughs> Fang Yuan laughed, bending down and picking up the two goo worms. His left hand carried the blood skull goo, and his right hand carried the yin yang rotation goo. These two were owned by first gen Gu Yu, but right now they had a thin layer of yellow light, sealed by the problem nipped in the bud goo, unable to sense first gen Gu Yu's desperate calls. But this seal was an obstacle to Fang Yuan as well. He wanted to break the seal and refine the two goo worms. Forcefully breaking the seal, however, will only cause these two goo to be destroyed. This was different from the blood curtain skyflower goo, as the blood curtain skyflower goo had to be destroyed to be used. By breaking the seal, it was the same as using it. But Fang Yuan was not anxious. He knew what would happen next. Both the demon suppression iron chain goo and problem nipped in the bud goo would be corrupted by the blood frenzy goo, turn into blood water and die. Ha ha ha, my good senior brother, to think you have this day, hand over your life. 
Lord Sky Crane howled, rushing into the sky and attacking towards First Gen Guyu. First Gen Guyu was suppressed by the demon suppressing chains and could not move, thus he was a target board and could only take the hits. He scolded furiously, howling and struggling. Suddenly the iron chains turned into a puddle of blood water, allowing him to regain his freedom, and he hurriedly flew into the air, crashing against the blood barrier. With a loud bang unquestionably, he was blocked by the blood barrier. This blood curtain skyflower was refined by him, and it was his greatest invention. It had superb defense, but once used it cannot be moved nor turned off. For him, he could only exit and not enter. Little rascal, you will die a painful death. First Gen Gu Yu's grievance and rage towards Fang Yuan was greater than anything, rising like a tsunami. Lord Sky Crane naturally chased him, laughing non-stop. First Gen Gu Yu could only give up on the blood barrier and resist the Lord Sky Crane. He had eaten large amounts of primeval essence earlier, thus he had ample primeval essence. Even though he had the lower hand, he could stabilize his situation. First Gen Ancestor, good luck. Lord First Gen, we are cheering for you. Ancestor, you are our only hope. The battle between two rank five attracted everyone's attention. Fang Yuan, however, retracted his gaze and looked at Bai Ningbing. This situation was like two tigers competing, while he Fang Yuan was a rabbit. Both the Lord Sky Crane and First Gen Gu Yu were crafty old foxes. To wait for the two to injure each other and benefit Fang Yuan, such a chance was slim. No one was stupid, they would not let the battle adrenaline get to their head. Moreover, this blood barrier could only protect them for a while. Once the time is up, everyone inside including him would face the slaughter of Lord Sky Crane and First Gen Gu Yu. He had already rebirthed once, thus the spring-autumn cicada had fallen into a weak state again, unable to be used. Right now, he could only try to get as strong as possible, exerting the greatest effort to fight for a chance to survive. Fang Yuan already had a plan. But in this plan, there was a person who played a crucial role. That person is Bai Ningbing. The Northern Dark Ice Soul Physique's self-detonation would greatly affect the battlefield especially when the two rank fives were fighting outside of the barrier. But how was he going to convince Bai Ningbing? Fang Yuan looked at Bai Ningbing, and Bai Ningbing sensed it, turning back to look at Fang Yuan. Among the people, they stared at each other. Fang Yuan in his black robe, with black hair and eyes, revealed a devilish smile as his lips curled. I have a way to resolve the ten extreme aptitudes and allow you to return to life, he said. Bai Ningbing's body shuddered, he obviously wanted to live. What method? However, Fang Yuan's words changed. But this method does not have much chance of success, it is highly probable to fail. Yet this made Bai Ningbing even more convinced. Next Fang Yuan said his third sentence, but I think even if we fail, it will allow your final moments to be as spectacular as ever. Bai Ningbing's was moved. Fang Yuan used three sentences and targeted his heart's innermost desires, convincing him. He was also smart, and after thinking, he asked directly, Then what do I need to do? Fang Yuan's smile disappeared. At the same time, the problem nipped in the bud goo turned into a puddle of blood water. Blood skull goo and yin-yang rotation goo's seal vanished and were about to fly away, but Fang Yuan grabbed onto them. He used the spring autumn cicada's aura. These three goo were merely rank four, they were immediately tamed. Fang Yuan injected his primeval essence and refined them, turning them into his. What? Fuck! Outside the blood barrier, first gen Gu Yu's head hurt as he lost the connection with the blood skull goo and yin yang rotation goo. He was beyond shocked, losing his bearing and rushing towards the blood barrier. How can this be? How could you refine my three goo worms so quickly? First Gen Gu Yu cried out sadly, attacking the blood barrier like a crazed man. Fang Yuan stole food from a tiger's mouth. By taking the blood skull goo and yin yang rotation goo, it was a fatal blow to the first gen. Everyone was shocked, taking a step back. 
First Gen Gu Yu was like a fierce beast trapped in despair, his eyes starting to burn with fire. But quickly, Lord Sky Crane's attack came. I want you to die, I want you to die. First Gen Gu Yu went frantic, attacking without defending, exerting all his anger on Lord Sky Crane. Lord Sky Crane was taken aback as he received some damaging blows. The two fought it out again as the battle slowly reached its climax. Fang Yuan laughed loudly, saying to Bai Ningbing, Come, kill them all with me. Before he finished, he acted. As the razors on the chainsaw golden centipede moved, he slashed a goo master nearby into half. Blood Skull Goo. Soon after, Fang Yuan activated the Blood Skull Goo, absorbing the blood. Chapter 198. Ruthless in Murdering People. Cruelty Exercise to Profit from Disaster. Fang Yuan, what are you doing? Quickly stop, the enemy is before us, how can we fight among ourselves? Stop now, otherwise, erg. Everyone was shocked. Fang Yuan was ruthless, killing another clansman. I am only killing Gu Yu clan people, outsiders fuck off, otherwise I'll kill you as well, Fang Yuan screamed. Everyone was stunned, retreating steps away, not expecting Fang Yuan to be so insane. Fang Yuan has lost it. He's lost his logic, attack together. Indeed, if this goes on, even before the first ancestor defeats the enemy, we'd have been slaughtered by Fang Yuan already. It was like Fang Yuan stabbed a beehive, causing everyone to stir, but no one dared to attack. Most could only shout and encourage others to fight. Ha ha ha, interesting. Bai Ningbing laughed loudly, suddenly attacking and killing someone beside him. Lord Bai Ningbing, you? The dying person was a Bai clansman. Oh no, Lord Bai Ningbing lost it too, everyone shouted. Fang Yuan's gaze concentrated, looking at Bai Ningbing, not expecting him to change so drastically. Bai Ningbing laughed maniacally, since you can kill your own clansmen, I can't lose to you. Sigh, since too many deaths have occurred, Bai clan's future is ruined already, we can no longer be a village. The clan leader I'm indebted to is dead too. I might as well kill them now and enjoy the fun. Heh <laughs> heh, that's great, Fang Yuan laughed heartily, his body moving quickly, starting his slaughter. Since these clansmen were going to die anyway, they might as well die at Fang Yuan's hands, contributing to his aptitude growth instead of first gen Guyu. These people in the blood barrier, how could they be a match for Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing together? Especially when Bai Ning Bing, who was nearing death, was much stronger and killed even more people than Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan took the last hit and extracted their blood. After killing a hundred people, the blood skull goo reached its limit, and the crystal skull started to turn blood red. Fang Yuan laughed heartily, activating the blood skull goo, raising it over his head. The teeth opened, shooting out a fragrant blood stream, drenching Fang Yuan from head to toe. Fang Yuan enjoyed the discomfort and breathed in deeply, living in the moment. His black robe and hair together with his blood-bathed body made him look like a demon straight out of hell. The surrounding people upon seeing him were all scared and cried out in fear. My aptitude really increased. Fang Yuan's aptitude was only 44% C grade originally, but after the man-beast life burial goo, it dropped to 43%. Right now, standing under the bloodstream as it gushed into his aperture, his aptitude rose by 10%, going to 53%. Indeed a great treasure, no wonder First Gen Gu Yu treated it like his life. Fang Yuan opened his eyes, nodding in satisfaction, starting another round of slaughter. The two caused much bloodshed within the blood barrier. This was a large slaughterhouse. Fang Yuan, you mad and crazy monster, Gu Yu Mo Yan rushed up. Fang Yuan dodged her attack and raised his chainsaw golden centipede before throwing it down. The young girl was split in half. Fang Yuan, let us go please, we're your uncle and aunt. Gu Yu Dong Tu and his wife kneeled down and begged. Fang Yuan laughed coldly, his left hand waving, and a blood-colored moonblade shot out, beheading the two. Blood Skull Gu absorbed the Gu Yu clansman blood, turning into a thick bloodstream, pouring into Fang Yun. What a pleasure, 
Fang Yuan closed his eyes, breathing in deeply, only to feel a warm feeling traveling through his body and causing his mind to become sharper, like he had been reborn. Aptitude rose again, becoming 63%. A Gu Master's aptitude, 40-59% was C grade, 60-79% was B grade, and 80% and above was a grade. Fang Yuan had officially left C grade and become a B grade talent. But my cultivation dropped. Fang Yuan opened his eyes, staring intently. Fang Yuan's aptitude rose to B grade, but his cultivation dropped from rank 3 to rank 2. Strange, first gen Gu Yu evidently retained his cultivation level as his aptitude rose. So why was it that when it came to Fang Yuan, such a thing happened? This problem should be due to the stone aperture goo, Fang Yuan sighed in his heart. Fang Yuan had used the stone aperture goo to squeeze out all his potential, causing his cultivation to rise to rank 3 peak stage, but this blood skull goo injected the quality bloodstream into him, raising the aperture's potential and raising his aptitude. Undeniably, these two goo clashed in nature, but blood skull goo was rank 4, while Stone Aperture Goo was rank 3. The Blood Skull Goo ruled over the Stone Aperture Goo, causing Fang Yuan's aperture to turn from stone back to light. However, the cultivation increase that the Stone Aperture brought was also disappearing and even reducing his cultivation in the process. This change was something Fang Yuan did not expect in such a short time. But Bai Ning Bing was getting stronger, he killed everywhere he went, Thus, Fang Yuan was able to keep his strength and stop attacking, only collecting the bloodline. First Gen Gu Yu, who was outside the blood barrier, saw the people getting slaughtered and flew into a rage, screaming but to no avail. He spread his bloodline, waiting for hundreds of years. It was all for this moment, killing his descendants to raise his aptitude. After planning for so long, in the end, someone else benefited from it. This lad, so young yet so ruthless, even more demonic than his ancestor, Lord Sky Crane seeing this, was slightly shocked too. The slaughter continued until six hours later. Fang Yuan's cultivation dropped to rank one initial stage, but his aperture returned to being a light wall, able to recover primeval essence on his own. He was bathed in blood over ten times and towards the last few times the effect weakened. The first few raised his aptitude by 10%, but the percentage continued to drop with each try. But his aptitude had increased from the C grade 43% to over 90%. 90% a grade aptitude, a grade aptitude. 500 years of my previous life, I only managed to raise my aptitude from C to B about 200 years later through pure luck. To think that this time, I can benefit from a disaster and rise to a grade. Fang Yuan clenched his fist, secretly excited. Bai Ning Bing stopped his killing, walking over. Next, what do we do? In the blood barrier, only the two of them were left. The others, whether it was Gu Master or Mortal, were all killed. Outside the blood barrier, no one was spared from the aftermath of the two rank 5 experts' battle. In the entire area, there was only the two inside the barrier and the two outside. Fang Yuan looked outside, saying casually, Next, we wait for first Gen Gu Yu to run into defeat and the blood curtain Skyflower to vanish. And then, Bai Ning Bing pursued. Then, Fang Yuan turned around and looked at Bai Ning Bing, then he smiled, Then you can go and die. Bai Ning Bing was stunned. Oh, what do you mean? Immediately, his eyes squinted into a line as his blue irises had a dangerous killing intent. The Northern Dark Ice Soul Physique's self-detonation is extremely strong. Even though your cultivation is weak and the chances are not high, it should be able to hurt rank 5 experts. After detonating, are you able to control the direction of the snow and frost? Fang Yuan laughed. How would I know? Bai Ning Bing's lips twitched. I've never self-detonated before. I know you can, Fang Yuan laughed heartily, patting his chest. Unknowingly, the image of Bai Ning Bing self-detonating previously appeared in his mind. And that line, live for me, and witness the brilliance of this world. I will stay by your side. 
after you detonate, and when the time is ripe, I will save your life and cause you to resurrect, Fang Yuan continued. What if you can't? Heh <laughs> heh. Fang Yuan laughed plainly. Then you need to bet. When you detonate, I will be by your side. If you suspect my sincerity, you can send the ice storm to kill me. You must have noticed already. That's right, my cultivation is already rank 1 initial stage. By then, I will have no way to survive. But if you believe me, then I could be lying too. Eventually, I will not resurrect you because I have no way to do so. Thus, you need to gamble whatever choice you make, not just what you are thinking, but also what you are considering in the moment before you die. Bai Ningbing was solemn. Fang Yuan's words was telling him to gamble away. But actually, wasn't Fang Yuan betting too? He was using his own life as the wager, fully dependent on Bai Ningbing's thoughts. He he, so exciting, so very exciting, then I shall bet on it, ha ha. A moment later, Bai Ningbing raised his head, laughing loudly. Fang Yuan did not care about him, but concentrated on the battle outside the blood barrier. As expected, first Gen Gu Yu had the lower hand, suppressed by Lord Sky Crane. Although he replenished his primeval essence, he could not replenish it, so under a sustained battle, how could he compete with Lord Sky Crane? Moreover, Lord Sky Crane was clear of his methods, and he would not allow First Gen Gu Yu to take back any advantage. I am so fucking furious. A moment later, First Gen Gu Yu cried out, Little thief, you destroyed my thousand-year plan, I will spare you today. Someday, I will kill the hell out of you to appease my anger. Throwing this angry statement, First Gen Gu Yu flapped his wings and escaped the battlefield, flying towards the skies. Don't think of leaving, Lord Sky Crane quickly turned into a flash of light, chasing relentlessly. Without their intense battle, this battlefield became quiet instantly. This was originally the best time to leave, but the Blood Veil Aurora became a huge obstacle. Four hours later, the blood barrier was thinning and was about to vanish. But at this time, a white light flew over, turning into the Lord Sky Crane. His body was full of injuries. A wound stretched from his left shoulder to his waist, so deep that his bones could be seen, overflowing with purple poisonous red blood. But his face was extremely uplifted, showing the happiness of getting his long-awaited revenge. His right hand held a skull, a blood-covered face, it was First Gen Guyu. He actually managed to kill First Gen Guyu? Bai Ningbing showed astonishment. Fang Yuan laughed instead. It seems this old fellow hates first gen Gu Yu to the core. He he, to kill the first gen, he definitely paid a huge price. While they were speaking, the blood barrier vanished, and there were no longer any obstacles between the two. Little thief, quickly hand over the two goo worms. I am still in a good mood now, I might spare your lives. Otherwise, when the blood barrier vanishes, you will all die without a resting place. Lord Sky Crane flew into the sky, looking down and laughing loudly. Fang Yuan and Bai Ningbing looked at each other before laughing lightly, not speaking. Lord Sky Crane flew into a rage. Good lad, refusing a toast only to drink a forfeit, you deserve to get killed. Before he finished his words, he turned into a white light and assaulted. Bai Ningbing laughed grandly, taking a huge step in front. I was waiting for you. Saying so, his body lost all color, turning into an ice statue. Cold winds blew, and as winds turned into a hurricane, frost and ice covered the sky and the infinite ice river appeared. This is, Lord Sky Crane did not expect it in the least that such a development would occur, causing him to be unprepared against Bai Ning Bing's attack and was sealed into the ice. Chapter 199, Walking Towards Their Own Destiny Boom, boom, the ice glacier shook intensely as Lord Sky Crane carried out his attacks. He was about to break out of the ice layer in just a few seconds. We can't let this old geezer break free, Fang Yuan shouted. Bai Ning Bing couldn't speak anymore. After Fang Yuan's shout, he resolutely self-exploded one of his arm, turning it into vast amounts of frost wind. The wind swept through everything, the glacier spread and the ice layer rapidly thickened by a hundred feet. 
Lord Sky Crane roared within the ice and started attacking in a frenzy. Bai Ningbing exploded his other arm. More ice condensed and the glacier repeatedly pressed down on Lord Sky Crane, suppressing him every time he tried to break through. Under Bai Ningbing's meticulous control, the ice moved like an army, firmly entrapping Lord Sky Crane. Lord Sky Crane may be a rank 5 Gu Master, but after killing Gu Yu first head, he was thoroughly spent. He attacked again and again, but couldn't break out in the end. It is actually Northern Dark Ice Soul Physique, but if you want to kill me with just this, you can keep on dreaming. He suddenly realized and immediately activated life retaining Jade Burial Goo. Green Jade Light came into being and covered his body. Then the rays of light turned from virtual to material, changing into a transparent jade coffin with Lord Sky Crane inside it. This jade coffin was abnormally hard. Even after trying multiple times, Bai Ningbing was not able to put even a scratch on it. In the end, he could only add more ice layers around the jade coffin, forming an ice peak that was hundreds of feet high. Fang Yuan had watched all this from the sidelines. Worthy of being a 10 extreme physique, he was impressed even though this was his second time seeing it. Fang Yuan was standing right beside Bai Ningbing. Right now, Bai Ningbing had destroyed his two arms and was turning into an ice sculpture. Even his appearance was becoming indistinct as the ice slowly covered him. Both his appearance and his consciousness were slowly dissipating. Once his consciousness fades, he would be completely dead. As the ice layer started to spread towards himself, Fang Yuan was clear on what he had to do. It is impossible to escape by myself. I will be sealed and frozen to death by the glacier sooner or later. It's time. Immediately, he took out a pair of goo worms from his aperture. One black goo and one white goo were revolving around each other in an orbit, forming a light sphere of Teiji diagram. This was the yin-yang rotation goo. Go! Fang Yuan willed it. The black goo immediately flew out and merged into Bai Ning Bing's ice sculpture. Fang Yuan may just be a rank 1 right now, but his aperture still contained large amounts of rank 3 snow silver primeval essence which he almost used up in activating this goo. In the instance when the black goo went into the ice sculpture, black light burst out everywhere. Yin Kai gathered from all around and formed into an energy vortex in the air. A completely new life force came into being within the ice sculpture and started growing vigorously. The dazzling black light dissipated, the ice sculpture cracked and broke into pieces, which then flew scattered to the surroundings. A white gown, silver hair, intact arms, picturesque appearance with lovely blush on the cheeks, Bai Ning Bing broke free of the ice and came out. The blizzard came to a sudden stop and the cold air also completely dispersed. The ice layer stopped a few inches from Fang Yuan. He had lived through this near-death experience. I am really alive, Bai Ningbing was shocked. He looked at his pretty jade-like hands and then felt his whole body. His disbelief changed to ecstasy. Ha ha ha. Fang Yuan laughed brightly. I used the yin goo of yin-yang rotation goo on you. This goo can change yang to yin and give you a complete transformation. It is a rank 4 healing goo and has the effect of bringing the dead to life. It has a weak point though, and that is the goo master's aptitude will be lowered by 10% once it is used. Bai Ningbing possessed the 10 extreme physique, which was a 100% aptitude. Now his aptitude was lowered by 10% and was equal to Fang Yuan's 90% aptitude. This news to others might have been grievous, but to Bai Ningbing it was joyous news. This feels great. My aptitude has been lowered. I no longer have the Northern Dark Ice Soul Physique. Haha, -ha, what does it matter if I only have 90%? Bai Ningbing started laughing loudly. Fang Yuan, however, shook his head. It is very difficult to change the 10 extreme physiques. Although this method lowered your aptitude as you cultivate in the future, your aptitude will also recover until the day it turns into Northern Dark Ice Soul Physique again. When that day comes, you will need to use this Yang Gu, it will turn you around again and lower your aptitude by 10%. Upon saying this, Fang Yuan put back the Yang Gu into his aperture in front of Bai Ning Bing's dead straight gaze. 
Yin-yang rotation gu all come in pairs, you have already used that yin gu, so only the yang gu on me will have any effect on you. Don't even think of stealing it, I have already refined this yang gu. I can easily order it to self-destroy with just a thought, Fang Yuan explained. He only had rank 1 cultivation now, but Bai Ningbing was still a rank 3 gu master. Naturally he needed some ways to stop Bai Ningbing from taking actions against him. I see, Fang Yuan, you really planned it all. Bai Ningbing heaved a long sigh. What do you want from me for that Yang Gu? Ha ha ha. Fang Yuan laughed for a good while then turned serious. King Mao Mountain has already turned into a desolate ice mountain. The three great clans along with countless living beings have all been frozen and will die within three to five days. Such a scene will definitely attract the attention and investigation of many forces. Moreover, that old man isn't dead and has sealed himself within the jade coffin, waiting to break out. We can't stay in King Mao Mountain anymore, we need to leave. But look at me, I only have rank 1 cultivation now. I can't even take out my goo worms, much less leave by myself. Hence, I need to rely on your strength. This world is so big, so wondrous, and King Mao Mountain is only a very small part of it. Follow me as I roam this land and witness the wonders of the world. It was like this. You really planned out everything. Humph. Bai Ningbing grinded his teeth. He was really happy, but there was also some resignation now. However, as it turns out, Fang Yuan's proposal moved him. I can agree to you, but I need to make one thing clear. What? Fang Yuan asked. It is not me who is following you, but you who is following me as I roam the lands. Bai Ningbing's red lips slightly raised with an arrogant smile. Ha 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 ha. Fang Yuan laughed heartily. Then where are we going next? What do you have in mind? Bai Ningbing asked. Bai Gu Mountain. Fang Yuan answered in between his laughters. What's so funny? Bai Ningbing was truly puzzled. Fang Yuan laughed until his tears flowed. You still haven't discovered anything wrong? What is there that's wrong? Bai Ningbing raised his dark eyebrows. Suddenly, his face turned extremely wonderful. Surprise, fear, puzzled, panic, shock, anger, all these expressions intertwined in her face. She looked at her round and full chest and cried out with a loud voice, I, how did I become a woman? The voice resounded throughout the King Mao Mountain, shaking the snow. Of course it would be like that. Yin Yang rotation Gu Yin Gu is used in male body to turn Yang into Yin and become a woman. Likewise, Yang Gu is used in female body to turn Yin to Yang and become a man. Yin Yang rotation, rotating Yin and Yang, what do you think it means? Fang Yuan spoke like it was what it should be. I, I, what the fuck? Bai Ningbing looked at Fang Yuan with a furious gaze and cursed. With this, she must now get hold of that soul Yanggu. Brother Bai, calm yourself, being able to live is the greatest fortune, Fang Yuan consoled her. Fortune my ass, how about you try being a woman? Bai Ningbing's furious growl resounded within the snow-covered mountain and glaciers. Two days later, the sun hung high in the sky, the ice was melting down and a stream of clear water flowed through the ice mountain. Crackle. The silence of the surroundings was broken by the cracking of ice. A jade light burst out from within the ice and hovered in the air, turning into a jade coffin. The jade coffin exploded and Lord Sky Crane gave a long cry upon regaining his freedom and seeing the daylight again. This life-retaining jade burial goo was a rank 5 goo and was very mysterious. As long as the goo master had one breath of life in him, it could suspend his life and delay the injuries. Not only this, but the jade coffin it formed was extremely strong and could even be considered a defensive weapon. God and thief, he cursed with a pained voice. Right now, he was both furious and impatient. Even after killing his lifetime enemy, the first Gen Gu Yu, he couldn't get the true Blood Sea inheritance. How was he going to answer his teacher when he returned? According to his memories, the ice layer where Fang Yuan was supposed to be was already cut open. If only he didn't get far, he patrolled the surroundings hoping for a lucky break. 
He used his recon goo and discovered many life forces hanging on to their lives in the depths of the ice layers. Living beings were tenacious, and this tenacity could often bring about miracles. It had only been two days since this glacier covered these life forms, which was not enough to lead to their complete deaths. Found him. To think he was actually hiding here, HMPH, the most dangerous area is the safest place, right? This guy is really crafty. Lord Sky Crane's whole body jolted and became indescribably happy upon this discovery. He rushed into the ice layer and soon fished out an ice chunk. Within the ice chunk, Fang Zheng's whole body was covered with a layer of moonlight from the moon Raymond Gu. He was already at the edge of death's door. Lord Sky Crane could swear he would never forget Fang Yuan's appearance in this life. However, he was a rank 5 expert, and after closely looking at Fang Zheng, he was immediately disappointed. This person isn't him, only their appearances are similar, Sai. He heaved a deep sigh before suddenly becoming stupefied. Wait a second, their appearances are so similar, which means they are extremely likely to be twins. If so, then he is closely related to that little thief, Lord Sky Crane's dim old eyes suddenly burst out with a sharp gaze. With a close relative on him, he could refine the kinship bloodworm. It was because of this rank 5 kinship bloodworm that he was able to locate the first Gen Guyu among this vast world and its diverse life forms. I haven't completely failed teacher's assignment. There is still some hope. This kid is my only hope. I must save him. Fang Zheng slowly opened his exhausted and heavy eyes. Where is this? His eyes were still hazy, and he could only see a blurry figure before him. At the same time, his whole body felt weak, along with an intense headache. The last thing he recalled was the Three Clans competition, where Iron Beak flying cranes covered the sky and everyone around him had fled. He had activated the Moon Raiment Goo and resisted against the flying cranes' attacks. As the battle continued, a flying crane broke through his barrier and pecked fiercely at his forehead. He had immediately lost consciousness, tumbling down the cliff. You are the elder standing on the crane. As he became clear on the identity of the person before him, Fang Zheng struggled to get up in shock, but fell down again before he could completely stand up. Kid, you are still thinking of escaping in front of me, Lord Sky Crane? Lord Sky Crane sneered. He sized up Fang Zheng once and said, You could say that I am even your lifesaver. If not for me, you would have already frozen to death. I advise you to not move around randomly, don't blame me if you fall down. Fang Zheng looked beside him and immediately got a great shock. There were clouds moving all around him and he was standing on the back of an enormous crane as it flew in the sky. You, who the hell are you? Where are you taking me to? Fang Zheng cried out in alarm. I am Lord Sky Crane, and we are heading to the Middle Continent. Middle Continent? Fang Zheng shouted in shock. Chapter 200 The Raft Overturns Along the Yellow Dragon River Book 2 The Demon Leaves the Mountain The Yellow Dragon River is the third river in the southern border. It is over 8,000 kilometers. It starts from Mount Huangguo and passes through mountains and hills like Mount Xuan Ming. Mount Gui Bay, Mount King Mao, Mount Bai Gu, and Mount Lei Sai before finally flowing into the ocean. If the whole southern border was seen through a bird's eye view, one could see the Yellow Dragon River forming a zigzag shape as it ran through over half of the southern border. Several waves roared as they turned over, the violent waves rolling in an imposing manner along the river. It bore through the crack between the shores, and fog was raised up into the blue sky. The Yellow Dragon River flowed rapidly and unceasingly. Many creatures lived in the river fishes, turtles, snakes, clams, and other life forms. At this moment, there was a bamboo raft bobbing up and down with the waves. This green raft looked quite battered and seemed to be in need of repair. There was a simple and crude mast in the middle with a shabby white sail hanging on it. A pile of goods were put around the mast to stabilize the center of the raft. The bamboo were tied with hemp ropes and there were many loops around some areas. They were clearly hurriedly done as the raft sailed through the river. 
The bamboo raft flowed with the currents of the river, and every time the waves crashed onto it, the raft gave out a creaking noise which was far from reassuring. This bamboo raft, which looked like it could break apart at any moment, was carrying two youngsters. One had an ordinary face with black pupils and black hair, wearing a black gown. Another was a woman with the looks of an immortal fairy, blue pupils and silver hair, wearing a white gown. They were Fang Yuan and Bai Ningbing. After the battle at King Mao Mountain Bai Ningbing self, exploding his northern dark ice soul physique and sealed Lord Sky Crane for the moment they used all their strength to break out of the ice, then cut off some King Mao bamboos to make this raft before immediately hitting the road to flee. Fang Yuan's Thousand Li Earth Wolf Spider was already dead, and ever since Bai Ningbing's white form Immortal Snake had flown out on its own, there had been no news from it. With no transportation goo worms, the two would definitely be caught by Lord Sky Crane if they were to move on land as their speed would be too slow. Thus, Fang Yuan could only think of this method. Many tributaries of Yellow Dragon River flowed through King Mao Mountain. Previously, the Rank 5 River Swallowing Toad had flowed with the main course of Yellow Dragon River and accidentally flowed to the foot of the King Mao Mountain. The bamboo raft flowed through one of the tributaries to the main river course, and as it flowed with the river, its speed was naturally extremely fast. It has been five days, it doesn't look like that old guy will come, Fang Yuan mumbled as he stood on the bamboo raft and took a glance behind him. The bamboo raft's speed could definitely not match the Iron Beak Flying Crane King. But the Iron Beak Flying Crane King would definitely need to rest and couldn't compare with the bamboo raft, which continuously flowed with the river. And as more time went by, Fang Yuan became more assured. Moreover, Fang Yuan recalled that Lord Sky Crane had returned alone after killing the Gu Yu first head. The Iron Beak Flying Crane King was likely to be already dead. The raging waves of the river bombarded their ears. Bai Ning Bing took a glance at Fang Yuan. She might not have understood the details in his words, but knew what he meant. She laughed loudly, What are you so worried for? If that old geezer chases us, we will just fight to death. Fighting on this yellow dragon river will be extremely spectacular. Well, the thing is that if we die here, we will end up in the stomachs of some fishes. Ha ha, that sounds interesting too. Fang Yuan ignored her, instead gazing towards the distance. With five days of sailing, they were almost at the Bai Gu Mountain. According to his memories, there was a secret inheritance hidden in Bai Gu Mountain. The inheritance was arranged by a rank four Gu master of the righteous path for someone fated to it. I haven't personally seen this inheritance in the Bai Gu Mountain and have only heard about it. But it was rumored that this inheritance had some obstacles which required two people to coordinate to pass through. When Fang Yuan thought of this, he gave a casual glance towards Bai Ningbing. Although they were traveling together, it was only due to the situation and the pressure of a powerful enemy. He himself was only at rank one initial stage and absolutely needed help to roam outside. But with Bai Ningbing turning into a woman, he had the greatest hold on her in the Yanggu, giving her no choice but to compromise. After entering the Baigu Mountain, could they really coordinate with one mind? It was a big question mark. Snap. Suddenly, a muffled sound was heard. Not good, the rope has come off. This sound was very familiar to Bai Ningbing as she immediately shouted. The force of the river flow was fierce, and in these five days, who knows how many times the hemp rope binding the raft had rotted out due to it. Fortunately, Fang Yuan had made enough preparations before they had set out. Quick get the hemp rope, I will hold it till then. Fang Yuan immediately crouched down and used his hands to hold the areas where the rope had come loose, preventing the situation from getting messed up. The river flowed fast and violently, it would take a lot of strength to hold the bamboo raft. Bai Ningbing wasn't qualified for this, only Fang Yuan who had the strength of two boars was. Luckily, this situation had occurred multiple times before, and Bai Ningbing had become more experienced in dealing with this. She quickly went to get the hemp rope tied around the simple and crude mast in the center of the boat. Here, take it. She rushed over and handed the hemp rope. 
Fang Yuan agilely took it and rapidly coiled it around the loose areas with sweat starting to drip off his head as he concentrated on the task. After coiling the hemp rope around the loose area several times, the raft finally stabilized. This raft has already suffered a lot of damage, from the looks of it, it can only continue on for a day. We need to reach the shore in this duration. Fang Yuan heaved a sigh. Yellow Dragon River was not safe at all, who knew how many dangers were hidden within this raging river. If the bamboo raft fell apart in the middle of the river, Fang Yuan and Bai Ningbing would have no choice but to go with the river with no way of telling if they would survive. Ta. There was a soft muffled sound. What was that sound? Fang Yuan immediately furrowed his brows. Bai Ningbing listened closely with a doubtful expression. What sound? I didn't hear anything. Roots grew out from Fang Yuan's ears, and almost immediately he heard the continuous tatata sounds. Along with the sounds, the bamboo raft also started shaking. What is that thing attacking the bamboo raft from the river? Bai Ningbing cried out in surprise. A black ray flew out from beside the bamboo raft and brushed past Bai Ningbing. This black shadow was too fast and couldn't be seen clearly. Bai Ningbing only felt her ear go cold, with some liquid flowing down her cheeks. She subconsciously wiped it. It was blood. What the hell is this thing? She cursed as she looked up, only seeing a spindle-shaped black fish falling into the river from mid-air. It is the shuttle swordfish, damn it! We need to pull towards the shore immediately! Fang Yuan shouted before pulling the sail. The shuttle swordfish had a sharp head and tail, whereas its stomach was big, just like a textile shuttle. They only appeared in big rivers or oceans, roaming and hunting in groups of hundreds or thousands. They were carnivorous and would often hunt prey ten times or even hundreds of times their size. Whoosh! The shuttle swordfishes shot out of the river like black arrows. The bamboo raft shook violently as many of the shuttle swordfishes struck it. Fortunately, King Mao Bamboo was a top gray bamboo. It was very strong and durable. But as the shuttle swordfishes kept on piercing the bamboo raft from below, the raft looked like it would fall apart at any moment. The sail was adjusted to borrow the force of the wind, thus the raft leaned to a side and sailed quickly towards a riverbank. However, the group of shuttle swordfishes had no intention to give up. They scuttled beneath the river and attacked the raft violently. Crack! A King Mao bamboo was split open and a shuttle swordfish smashed upon the bamboo raft. Its momentum was already exhausted as it landed beside Bai Ningbing. Its head was like an auger and scales tightly covered its whole body, shining with grim light. Bai Ningbing watched it struggling helplessly. After she had self-exploded, all the goo worms she possessed had been frozen to death, while the yin-yang rotation goo saved her, but it didn't have the ability to resurrect her goo worms. Crack, crack, crack. Following closely, other bamboos on the raft started snapping apart. It was outstanding enough that the bamboo raft could even endure the first wave of attacks, but it couldn't endure the second wave. The bamboo raft was damaged and was starting to sink under the river. Quick, 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 Fang Yuan cursed as he protected the sail. If the sail was lost, the raft would lose the propulsive force. Fang Yuan and Bai Ningbing would fall into the river, their deaths being a sure thing. The shuttle swordfishes prepared to charge in for a third wave of attacks. Large numbers of the shuttle swordfishes shot out like arrows, breaking the bamboos and snapping the hemp ropes. The bamboo raft was breaking apart. Sky Canopy Goo Fang Yuan forcefully activated the Rank 3 Goo, immediately causing the primeval essence in his aperture to decrease in a terrifying rate. This was still under the conditions of him having 90% a grade aptitude along with Heavenly Essence Treasure Lotus. A rank 1 initial stage's green bronze primeval essence could hardly meet the requirements for the sky canopy goo. Even if a white light armor took shape, it looked extremely weak and didn't exude the aura of a rank 3 goo. Bang, bang, bang. A series of dull thuds issued as the shuttle swordfishes struck against the white armor. They were unable to harm Fang Yuan. Bai Ningbing, however, was already injured and was frantically avoiding the shuttle swordfishes that shot towards the bamboo raft. 
At the same time, she stood behind Fang Yuan, relying on him to block off majority of the attacks. The situation was very critical. The sail was already covered with holes, and the speed of the bamboo raft continued to decrease. There was less than one-third of the bamboo raft left, and it was already sinking down with the water surface, reaching the ankles of Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing. Damn it, a rank 5 Goo Master couldn't kill me, but I am going to die by this group of measly shuttle swordfishes instead. Bai Ning Bing let out a deep sigh. With another wave of attacks, the bamboo raft would definitely sink, and they would surely die after falling into the river. However, the shuttle swordfishes were delaying their attacks, causing Bai Ning Bing to hold her breath and watch tightly, seemingly on edge. We have reached the shore, the shuttle swordfishes won't swim in shallow water. Huff, we are safe for the time being. Fang Yuan let out a breath of turbid air. His whole body ached and was on the verge of giving out. He had almost no rest in the past few days, what with needing to control the sail and adjusting the direction of the raft from time to time. It had already taxed his body to the limits. Bai Ning Bing also gasped in the cold air, her white gown dyed with blood. There were many injuries on her body, but fortunately she had combat talent, and with full efforts on dodging along with the bamboo raft lowering the charging momentum of the shuttle swordfishes, she suffered only light injuries. Fang Yuan glanced at Bai Ning Bing, and shortly after, intense pain traveled through his body. He was also injured, with the bleeding continuing even now. The primeval essence in his aperture had completely dried out within few minutes of using the sky canopy goo. Without its protection, his flesh body naturally couldn't resist the shuttle swordfishes. His original plan had been to sail for a day more. However, unexpected events can happen at any moment. Planning could never overtake the changes, and there was still some distance from Bai Gu Mountain, but Fang Yuan knew they had to pull toward the shore now. The sail was already useless. Fang Yuan had given all his efforts to steer the raft clear from the reefs, stranding towards a beach. The two splashed their way through the water and stepped on the soft beach. They had reached the shore. Bai Ning Bing covered her wounds and sat down on her butt. Her face was pale. If this continues, I might die from excessive blood loss. Quick, bring out your healing goo. Fang Yuan gave a bitter smile, how could he pull a healing goo out of thin air?